Hello everyone, this is Destiny out here at County Line Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. It might be a little rainy, a little dreary, but you know what? It's hot in the south, it's muggy, it's humid, but that's not going to stop us from looking at this motorhome. This right here is a 2023 chateau this is a thor product and we are looking at the 25m we're going to be on the e450 super duty ford chassis let's check it out i always like to give a quick overview as you can see we're not very long in length i will link that in the video description and we do have one slide peep that slide topper all right let's get into some details starting right here on the passenger side we've got our running board our extension mirrors and I am going to go ahead and throw in all the details to do with this engine. Again, it's the 450 Ford. It's got the classic Class C style with the little bunk extender over the hood. Coming along to the driver's side, we've got another running board. We've got the large tires. And we'll go ahead and run down this side. That built-in slide topper is gray. It's a nice app upgraded feature. You don't have to worry about adding one. We're going to have our generator right down here. So this is a Cummins generator, the GQ 4000. We've got tucked right here in this compartment. It's got its ventilation cap right there. Moving on down, you have our propane fill right here with storage compartment. Taking a look at this side of the slide, we've got some beautiful decals. Here is a great storage cubby. We've got our lights, our large cover with the little clip to lock it in place we're just going to turn these right under here we are going to have our access to that fresh potable water we are on 30 amp power there is your hookup for your satellite and then we've got our sewer connections right down here black and gray and the ability to hook up that sewer hose we are equipped with an outdoor shower. This is going to get hot and cold water, unleaded fuel, so no uh, expensive diesel pricing. We've got our sanitizer flush right there to clean out that black tank. Moving along to the back side, we have our bumper. Now you can store your sewer hose right in here. These caps can come off. This is a great place to store the sewer hose. Here's where we're going to plug into that city water connection. We are equipped with our backup camera. You can see it built into the light right there. Down here, we have our tow capacity. We've got 8,000 pounds on this, so you can put your car right behind the motor home. Here's your potable uh, water to fill it up. We've got our ladder to access that roof. You can get on up there, make sure everything's looking good. Our hot water heater. I'm again, going to put the gallons right in the video. Now we've got a large storage container, and this is going to be on the uh, strut right here, so it's going to lock in place. I love that it's this plastic durable material. You can get it nice and dirty, throw all the stuff you need for the outside of the unit right inside here. Right here is the access to the refrigerator. I've got it opened up. You can see all the inside workings, and this is the exhaust for the furnace. And taking a look right here, we've got some more storage. We've got our light and again, that plastic material in order to keep it nice and clean, easy to wash out if you got some mud in there. Right here, are some outlets so you can plug up a television and some, enjoy some outdoor entertainment. We've got a large Series 3000 power awning. This is going to go over the entire length of the camper, giving you great outdoor space. There is an LED light right there at the base. And this is going to have the adjustable arm so you can tilt it and let the rain drain off. Comes in handy, especially on a rainy day like today. Looking right here at the door, we do have it on a nice power strut, so it is going to lock in place. That way you are able to utilize this screen keep the door propped open without fighting in the wind. So that is a look at the outside. Let's climb inside and check out these features. I just got in, I guess whoever drove it down to us is enjoying some rock music. They still got the radio going. So drivers, I can tell, I can tell if you were jamming out when you drove it to us. <laughs> and I don't wanna turn off the rock music, but we gotta get through the video. All right, so some indoor features. I'm going to give you an overview of this floor plan. Really unique in the fact that it has a lot of convertible features, meaning we actually have a hidden Murphy bed, and there's so many little spots to where you are able to utilize a space for multiple things. So let me flip you around and give you a quick overview. So stepping right up into the unit, 
here is a look at our floor plan. And again, we're going to go into all the details momentarily. But I always like when the uh, people doing these videos just give an overview of what the floor plan looks like before doing the tour because I don't want to watch the whole video if I know that I just don't even care for the floor plan. So there is your floor plan. If you still like it, let's get into all the nitty gritty. I'm going to start this overhead bunk. We've got a little storage compartment with USB chargers right here, individual push lights overhead along with a vent to be able to get some circulation. We've got the TV on the swivel bracket, so you will be able to pull it out, face it towards the main area, or keep it pushed back for um, storing and travel. I love the little fabric and vinyl toppers we've got, accordion shades on all the windows, and all the windows are gonna have their own screen and be able to open so you can utilize some fresh air on a nice, beautiful day. Now, this is going to convert into a sleeping area let me set that up and show you. So this movable bunk actually has the built-in frame in order to support this hole right here. We also have this net, which I'll show you what it does in a minute. We're just gonna pop this into place. So once that is down, these are going to clip up overhead into these brackets built into the ceiling to where you can lock this seatbelt into place and then tighten it. This is gonna prevent any children from rolling out or getting injured. We're going to have a telescopic ladder that's going to be put right here. Let me grab that. So this ladder does have a designated holding spot back in the wardrobe closet. And we're just going to put them right onto the brackets. Here you have your ladder. We've got a 300 pound capacity on this. I'm going to take you guys up into the bunk and show you some features. There's a look at those brackets plugged up into the ceiling, the net, and there's a closer look at that telescopic ladder so coming up i can just release the seat belts lay this down and i'm able to crawl up this right here is going to have 800 pound load capacity so you actually could fit a couple adults up here if they don't mind climbing up the ladder we have hidden storage right there some cup holders back over there and this built-in ledge to be able to stash some more items and another great thing is we do have our vents blowing so you can utilize some airflow even up here in the front cab. And of course, we're gonna have our night curtain so somebody can actually sleep peacefully up here and block out the rest of the camper. All right, so y'all wake me in 20. So now that we've taken a look at the overhead compartment, let's check out this slide. We do have it extending into this whole dining and living area, but let's start right here with the dining booth. We've got tons of lighting, so not only do we have the switch that controls the overhead lighting right here? We have individual push lights so you can control how bright you'd like the space. Plenty of overhead storage compartment. It passes all the way through. It's also on these nice struts so they stay propped open for you. And I love the interior finishes we've got like the detail in the trim, residential style handles. Coming up over to the window, we have the built-in topper, but I also love how they extend it down to the side. And look at this large window that can be opened up. And we've got another one stashed right there in the corner, again with a screen, so you can get a, a nice cross breeze going. We have our speakers built in. You're gonna be able to control this from the stereo system up in the chassis. Taking a look at this table, we've got the built-in cup holders, but wireless charging station and USB charging are built right in, but also an actual outlet can be found down here so you can plug up the laptop. There is our CO2 sensor. Now this is probably my favorite table system and the fact that it's built in and so easy to convert. So this whole dining space is going to convert into a sleeping space. All you have to do is push that handle over and with a little bit of a push, this is going to raise and lower for whatever you need it. So of course, this is a look at the dining space. We've got our seat belts built in. Super thick, comfy cushions. These are also the vinyl fabric, so they're gonna be nice and easy to clean. And they've got zippers on bottom, so if you need to remove the cushions for any reason and give them a deep scrubbing, you're able to do so. I also love that they have the built-in drawers fully extending all the way out. You're gonna be able to utilize a lot of storage space between these two. But now I'm going to convert this and show you it as a sleeping booth. 
So we are going to start by removing these bottom cushions. They do have Velcro tabs, so they're not going to slide easily, but you can rip them off pretty easy. Put them off to the side and then just push your table down. It's going to lock into these ledges provided, and then we can simply put our cushions over top of the booth and table area, and then you are good to throw down your sheets and pillows, and we can sleep probably a couple kiddos and maybe one adult comfortably. Let's see, I'm 5'3", so, yep, I've got just enough space. So, depending on the size of the adult, you can sleep one right here. So that's already providing two sleeping up here. We'll say three right here, and we still have more sleep space to go. So that is a look at this converted to a bunk area. Now putting it back together, again, very simple. We're gonna put our back cushions up first and wedge them into this little frame provided. Put the cushions up to the side. And again, super easy, raising this table and then making sure we flip the latch to lock it in place. Then you can put these cushions back on the Velcro holes provided. And in a matter of 30 seconds, we are converted back into our dining booth. Now continuing over, still in the slide compartment, we are going to find our sofa and Murphy bed. Again, going into these convertible features. This one here is really great. You don't have the bed taking up space in the motor coach. You can utilize it just as needed. But right here is a look at the uh, vinyl cover sofa. And we've got tons of little accessories over here to the side. We've got our light that controls the bed. Once you are back there, some USB chargers, the 12 volt charger and some outlets. We also have these little built in um, end tables. So while you are sitting, you can stash your drink right there. Love a little built in mirror, just really brightens things up, makes it feel more like home. And they've got this built in little picture frame with this water setting. Thinks very nice. Again, making it feel a bit more residential. We've got our power vent right overhead here and then some more AC vents. Now, this looks great, super comfy, normal sofa. Let me show you how to convert it into your sleeping space. So I've removed the pillows from the couch area. The next thing you wanna do is remove the back side from the Velcro strips provided. You're just going to put these off to the side for now. So once we have those back cushions removed, we're going to undo the safety brackets on both sides of the top of the bed. And then right here, this black bar is going to act as the feet for the bed frame. We've got this wood bed frame right here on bottom, and this is just going to easily drop down right into place. We've got the support of that bottom bracket, and you have your bed set, ready to go. We're gonna throw on our pillows, and let me show you what it looks like close up. Okay, here is that bed. Right here is those safety latches. I told you you need to just pull this to undo it. Here is a look at that frame and the uh, Murphy bed mattress. And look at this, we've got some overhead storage. We have our lights that can be controlled from the switch right down here on the end table. These of course are gonna be on the struts that allow it to stay propped open. These right here are just your brackets to where those safety um, latches lock into place. And I love that we've got a little, a little window with the screen so we can get some air going back here, as well as that built-in um, padded headboard. And this little end table, I like how it goes all the way back so I can stash your phone, whatever, right there next to you. So that is a look at this Murphy bed and watch while I can uh, sit here and record. We can do this one-handed, simply pushing this back up and locking those safety brackets into place. And then this again, one-handed, is going to be able to fold right back down. And then your privacy curtain for the bed is going to wrap all the way around. So you can have some privacy and it's going to fall down to the foot of the bed. So you can black this out nicely and again, get some privacy while you're sleeping. Lastly, underneath this sofa, we've got a little lift and storage. So you can stash any extra bedding, blankets, 
whatever you need right there. And then we are just going to put our cushions right back on the Velcro strips provided. And you are back to your living room setup. It is that easy, folks. I did most of this one-handed while recording. Hopefully I didn't get you motion sickness because I wasn't paying attention to the camera, but I wanted to show you how easy it was to convert this space. We're moving into this wall of the unit. I'm going to start right here in the back with the entertainment area. So not only do we have our television right there, we have another one right over here so you can utilize it while you're on the um, couch. And look at this, we have a handle. And this is going to pop open and provide some extra storage, a lot of extra storage, right behind the television. We have a little workspace with the desk, a window. I love, again, I carry these little details right down to the bottom. Here is an outlet, and here's the control for your thermostat. We've got our light switch right here. Right down here, we have the fully extending drawers. You're going to be able to stash some items. So here's a look at that Dometic refrigerator. I love these handles. They automatically lock in place so you don't have to do any extra clips while traveling. They've already got the built-in locks right there. Taking a peek down here on bottom, we have our breaker box. Really easy to access and get to in the event it's needed. Right next to the refrigerator, we have this um, cabinet which provides good deep storage right there but I love these drawers again the fully extending you're going to be able to stash some spices and some snacks we do have two of them right here moving over to the microwave good decent size this is a gray stone I love that though we've got the black shiny matching appliances a little overhead storage perfect for the bread you've got your vent with the light and fan this right here is going to be our Furion a gas stove. Here's a look at the inside, but check this out. They give you an extra drawer. It looks like it's part of the oven, but it's just like a pots and pans drawer built right in. We have our glass top, which is great because it extends the countertop space along with the sink covers. When it's time to cook, you're just going to peel this right on back, and we've got access to our three burner stove. Again, moving over to the countertop extenders. We're going to remove those to find our undermounted stainless steel sink. We have a nice residential style faucet with a matte black finish, adjustable sprayer. We have our blinds and we do have another window back here that can be fully opened. Right under here, we've got a lot of light switches to control all this nice backlighting. Look at this. This one's my favorite. Just a little LED strip right here kind of sets it off. I love that. Moving overhead to this cabinet storage, which looky here, adjustable bracket so you can control the shelving to whatever it is needed for. Moving down below, again, the LED strip just sets it off nicely. Got a perfect spot to store the trash can, store the sponges, and we've got those fully extending drawers all the way down. Those two are about the same size, and this one's going to be a little bit deeper. Now, if that countertop space wasn't enough, we do have a little extender. Great for chopping up the items, rinsing the items, and then cooking the items. And lastly, to conclude our kitchen space, we do have one more overhead storage compartment. This one has the access to plug up your cable and the items you need for the television. So that is a look at the kitchen space. Let's move to the very back our bathroom area we have a pocket door right here it's going to have a latch to lock in place while traveling and there is the look at the door now i'm impressed with all the storage in here so we actually have our built-in wardrobe right here in the bathroom area this is going to provide your hanging space and there is that ladder that goes to the bunk bed it's got clips on it to lock it in place for travel. We're going to have more of those fully extending drawers. We've got the under the sink and over the sink. Ladies rejoice. I am a pretty short, but I love that they uh, drop, Chateau drops the medicine cabinet with the mirror so we can actually see when we get ready. And they're giving you two in this unit and that built in storage with the little wood shelves. Nice feature. Moving on down to our countertop space, we have this nice deep bowl. I love that it's not very shallow. I also love that they're utilizing all this little extra countertop space with the ledge. We've got that matte black finish. We're going to have a porcelain toilet. It's going to feel nice and residential. It's also easier to keep clean. 
Now something really nice at the Chateau is this RV features the 360 siphon roof vent caps to prevent holding tank odors from invading the living space. So that's just something nice to know, a little upgrade feature that we've got here. So I'm gonna tell on myself, this microphone was attached to my keys, which I threw off at the very beginning of this video. So by the time I made it back here to the bathroom, the sound quality on this video must be crazy different in each segment because my microphone was way up here in the front while I was way back here in the back. So I'm going to apologize for that, but I just realized it now that I'm towards the end of this video, I'm going to put my mic on and finish. But that is just my excuse as to why it might sound a little strange. Okay, moving into this walk-in shower. We can see we've got lots of cubbies, a good overhead skylight. Now, this is also going to feature the shower miser. This is a water saving thing that they've added. So this water saving system, it increases fresh and gray tank capacities up to 40% without changing tanks or adding weight. And then we've got our built in door. This is going to have like a vinyl curtain, but also look at this curvature on the top. This is going to make it feel just a little bit more spacious and give you a touch more elbow room inside. Another little feature they have is the built in toilet paper holder and towel racks. We know how hard it is to find places to throw the towel and the toilet paper when we're camping. I like that they built it in. Light and vent. We can control it right here from the switch, which is nice. And that is a look at this bathroom area. Also wanted to note the floor going through. We are vacuum bonded and we do have a lamination warranty on this. You're going to get a 12 year warranty and then a six year lamination warranty. All the walls, floors, roof, everything is going to be that uh, vacuum bonded and sealed. Now moving over into some of the tech stuff, we have our control panel right here. This is going to give you an idea how many hours on the generator, start and stop for the generator, and then your ability to check the battery and then your tank levels. Your water heater can run off the gas, of course, or we've got the 110 volt when you are dry camping and need to access that potable water. We've got our water pump here, and then here's our slide to come in and out. Moving right down here into the step up area, we have some outlets for the kitchen, our overhead lights. We've got the awning, step lights, cargo lights, your battery disconnect right here. And then we've got our jacks, passenger side and driver side. You will be able to retract right there. And then a fun bonus, we are solar on this unit. So you will have a solar battery and this is gonna be the charge controller to um, keep track of that solar. Now in order to access that battery, it's gonna be right here in the step. You can see it there. And lastly, we are going to check out the chassis. So we have the vinyl seating on both of them right here. Just a little step down, nothing major. And then we're going to see our classic Ford chassis features and our smart radio. You're going to be able to connect to Apple and Android CarPlay, Bluetooth, control the speakers front and back. We have the lightning charger and the USB charger. Tons of cubbies all the way through, including up here on the passenger dash. And lastly, I did want to point out, they do give you this uh, fabric cover, which has the designated Velcro spots right here and right here. So you can completely block off the front cap area when it is time to sleep and it adds that privacy. All right, here we go. They gave me the key. Don't know if you'll be able to hear it though. Ooh, sounds good. This one right here, we have 980 miles. So coming down from Elkhart, Indiana. I've actually been where these things have been manufactured. Very good, good brand. Absolutely love Thor. We do carry four other floor plans. So if you're not crazy about the features in this one, you prefer maybe an actual bedroom, let us know in the comments below. I am working on putting out a video tour of every single chateau we have on the lot. When you think camping, think County Line Campers.